Hi guys, I'm back here with the short physio uh, talking about the Decathlon Riverside 900. I have about 500 kilometers on it so far. Still very satisfied. Uh, what what are the, 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 the pros on this bike? What I really like are the mechanical um, disc brakes. I have, I've gained a lot of confidence in it now. Uh, everything is uh, well built on the bike and also the mechanical uh, uh, disc brakes I love it because they are easy to repair if you are out in the field for me for a, a real uh, tour mechanical brakes are the better option than hydraulic if there is everything happened in the field with hydraulics try to repair then you can uh, lose a lot of time. Um, the second pro on this bike is the rear rack. I loaded once with 30 kilograms on it. I went shopping the bags and a, a sack of potato was 25 kilograms on it. And it handled it very well. So it's very sturdy, as you can see. It's not moving at all. Built for 40 kilograms on it. The front rack I'm, I haven't tested yet, um, but uh, yeah, the rear rack and uh, the mechanical disc brakes, they are really, really good performing. Um, as you can see, this is an XL. I raised the stem of my handlebar as you can see and I transferred the red shift shock absorber you see it moves because it damps if you are on cobblestones or trail trails uh, bad roads it really damps a lot um, the same goes with the Brooks saddle. I put the sun to a shock absorber underneath it. It makes the bike a lot more comfortable. Um, the mud carts, when riding on bad roads, they don't rattle. I just had to tighten the screw when the bike was delivered. That was all, everything was very well built. Um, no issues so far. The light on the bike is also not too bad. Um, it's usable for my standards. If you are on real dark roads, um, it's not enough, but I have a, a 1300 lumen battery light bike light always on me so for me this is not really an issue it charges the telephone very well it's a cycle to charge you still can see my usb i just loaded my telephone to shoot this uh, video with a quad lock clamp i have also but i haven't uh, mounted yet a uh, root works handle back but they're still on my other bike and I haven't put uh, any other accessories on the bike because yeah, it's already October now. The weather is still nice and lovely, but uh, I don't think I will go on a, a long-term tour for five, six, seven days. Depends on the weather and my holiday. Um, but for the moment, I really like the bike. Uh, of course, it's much more comfortable comfortable with the Redshift and the Sock Absorber underneath the Brooks 17. That makes a huge difference. Again, why I bought this bike, uh, it's only 1400 euros without the Redshift and without the Centaur Sock Absorber. Uh, it's very well built for the same specs triple butted alu, uh, 40 kilogram uh, rear rack, 20 kilogram front rack, 
maximum load is 170 kilograms it's more than enough and I as I said in my first video I compared bike prices I'm not gonna name any brand here but for me many bikes are overpriced I, I, I have ridden with very expensive bikes and I don't feel the difference even you deduct the the hub gear it's around 1000 euros for a hub gear it's still more than twice the price of that decathlon uh, ask and i have to say about decathlon the delivery was spot on uh, i ordered the bike they sent me a, an sms um, that they're gonna contact me i think it was on the fifth it's now nearly one month ago on the fifth they contacted me on the fifth i made an appointment on the seventh and they brought uh, spot on between 12.30 and 2.30, around 1 o'clock, they were there with two drivers, very friendly drivers. So nothing to say about uh, the delivery, spot on. Right on time, perfect, 10 out of 10. Um, to go back about pricing, uh, that's the reason why I bought this bike. I've been riding a lot of bikes. Uh, I restored, gave old bikes, a complete overhaul, powder coated bikes. So I think I have a little bit of experience with, uh, with biking. Uh, I can't see, I can't see um, the difference between the Decathlon 1400 and, and, uh, and a, a bike that is twice as much, except the chain and, and the freewheel. I mentioned that in my, first, in my first video. I don't have much confidence in the freewheel um but anyway this is easily uh easily moved and uh, can put a better quality on it the chain as well i will use it as long as it lasts then i change to a better quality chain that's all uh, the the diore xt tracking group i'm not going to elaborate about it everybody knows it's good quality brook 17 for this price for me, this is a no-brainer. I always had Brooks since I was a, a kid. My dad and my mom had the Brooks on their bike. So I'm still using it. Um, on my other bike, I my Brooks saddle is already many years old. Uh, I can't remember how long, but several years. Uh, it's a black one, but I didn't change it to this one because for me, the the grips on the handlebar and, and the brown brown Brooks 17 just match the green the green color of the bike. Um, I gonna keep it uh, short this video. Maybe later I gonna elaborate a little more about uh, bike pricing, and I would like to have your opinion about it. But uh, this is for uh, another video so guys if there are any questions about this bike uh, you can ask me uh, again Decathlon didn't ask me to to make uh, videos because I'm a, a complete amateur I don't have a drone or whatsoever of video editing material I just improvise and I make these videos um, this is my bike uh, I bought it because it was much cheaper 1400 euros is an amazing price for this quality huh? uh, it did it doesn't break your bank um, I saw similar bikes 3,000 3,500 euros when I was cycling to them I overtook them easily because you still keep, have to keep pushing those expensive bikes too um, so for the moment uh, I leave it as it is um, if there are any comments, um, please ask anything you what you want, and uh, let's see in another video. Take care and bye bye.